so, uh, what does animal wisdom or instinct and man's uh, relationship and struggles with understanding of God, what, what does all this have in common? What, 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 what is the significance of all this? Well, I think uh, in spiritual terms, and, and one of the things I've always found fascinating is, is spirituality, spirituality issues. So when I look at bees and, and, and flies and monkeys and all that, and think about, do they come into the world, since they only have a very short, very brief time on, on this earth, do they already come into the world accepting God's wisdom that was implanted in them without any analyzing whether or not a God exists without struggling with their faith without dividing themselves into various denominations the so called lower beings of God's creation I think already come with full acceptance of God with full acceptance of the wisdom that was implanted in their DNA whereas man because of this because of his brain which is basically a problem solver still to this very day questions the existence of God questions whether or not this law or that law should be followed questions the authenticity of a Moses or a Jesus or a Muhammad or Abraham so on and so forth who, who was really the more wiser the so called lower animals or humans that's why I think uh when these issues come up uh, I've reached a point in my life I think I, years ago I read a book by by Hugh Prather it's a very good book and uh, he analyzes whether or not God exists he gives a few anecdotes uh, from his life where he comes to the point of accepting God and after all of his theories and principles about uh, why God exists, why God does not exist, and da 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 da, he comes to the conclusion, and I'm paraphrasing here, I will lead my life as if God exists. And if I'm wrong, What difference does it make? I'm still going to die. I'm still going to lose all my earthly possessions upon my death. So if I'm wrong about the existence of God, I believe in my heart that I will live my life as a better man. Even if I'm wrong about the existence of God. And if I'm right about God, Hopefully, I will be able to enter the house of the Lord in eternal life. And I think um, that's a pretty good principle or philosophy to follow in the 21st century, as it was in the 20th, 20th century, 19th century, 18th century, so on and so forth. Um, here's my little iPod that I talked about that I purchased recently. It's it's uh, I highly recommend if you have some spare change hanging around that you go out and purchase a, a iPhone. I'm sorry, it's an iPhone that you go out and purchase one. It's it's uh, they're quite they're quite uh, they're quite remarkable. You see it here. Yeah, slide this little lever, then you get uh, all your little applications. Um, I'm having fun with it. 
take it every place I go. And it has a built-in iPod, so uh, I've, I've been able to download some fantastic music. Uh, put on my earphones, not these, but other earphones, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to work, ready to, uh, if I can't uh, find a lovely lady to sit down with at a coffee shop, yeah, I just plug in my uh, my iPhone, switch on the iPod, and I'm, uh, I'm quite content. Um, today, um, this is kind of a little Twitter via video. I uh, plan to go to my little coffee shop, relax. I plan to uh, jog Lake Merritt, which I've called my lake. Maybe, maybe shoot a little still photos off my digital eye. Uh, get in bed early tonight because tomorrow I go back to the salt mines of Gay Bear. Or in other words, work. Um, my, the day's the last day of my vacation. I've been, uh, it's been fun to share some of my vacation time with the people who read my blog or look at the videos. Uh, and I, I really wish all of you well. Um, and I mentioned, something else, I mentioned this yesterday on my, on my video that I primarily addressed to Denny. Um, if some of you people have comments, I really wish you would uh, comment on things you see on the on the uh, blog because that way it kind of helps me hone in on things that that you find of interest and that you may want to chat about. Uh, I'm not going to slam you. I'm not going to uh, get get uh, hardcore on you. Uh, it just depends on, of course, how you come at me. Um, if you see something uh, that I write or project that you don't like, just tell me uh, in a nice mannerly way uh, your comments, and I'll respond in kind. But if you come at me as if I'm a fool or ignorant or I'm a racist or whatever, then you'll probably get a response back from me in, in kind. You know, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth as, uh, as a backbone of Judaism. But anyway, uh, I would enjoy reading some of your comments. Cause like I say, I'm, I'm operating in the blind. I just shoot at you on my blogs on whatever comes to my mind. Like flies, bees, and monkeys. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to receiving your comments. Uh, it helps me gauge what you are thinking about, and it, I think it makes for a little livelier uh, blog. But anyway, so you all have a very good day. Uh, tomorrow Sunday, uh, go worship in the house of worship that you choose, and that you like, and that you can identify with. But uh, above all, keep God in mind. I think it's important, that, uh, and I know that with the economic crisis and so many things that are going on in the world and in our life, it's easy to forget God or go running to God when we're in trouble. But uh, faith is built daily. Faith is built minute by minute, hour by hour. And so when those crises come into your life, you are, you're already your soul is already standing on its own two feet. All right, so you all take it easy, and I will talk with you later. Um, As-salamu alaykum, as the Muslims say.